Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? You're in tune with the crew podcast, episode one. I'm your host, Chris. Rose Gold. And we here, uh, well, before I even introduce the guests, it took a long time for us to get together. Everything was crazy. Um, I ended up running late. This guy got into a car accident. I don't even know how he's here right now. I, <laughs> I stopped the car <laughs> with my thigh. You know what I mean? So, and um, our guest, Body Bag Manami, and her sister, Nai Nai, they came at last minute, so we appreciate it. Um, Shout out to them. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, Let us know who you are, what you do, real quick. All right. So if I talk about what I do, we're gonna be here all night. All right, we'll make it brief. <laughs> <laughs> we got um, we got a whole lot of talking to do. Yeah, so I'm Manami, body by Manami as a rap battle name. Um, I do battle rap, I do photography, I do music, I do Damn. choreography, everything. Uh, stepping, I do a little, yeah, I do a little bit of everything. Jack I of all of trades. Everything. Yeah, okay. in the arts at least. Swiss Army. Yeah, yeah. I know Besides you just took drawing, over. drawing, if you asked me to draw, if you said draw a circle uh-huh. and or you died, I died. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. Like, that's yeah. it. Nah, she drawing, came in here and, and put thing. everything up. Like she set this whole this whole setup that y'all looking at right now. <laughs> my first guest put it together. Not me, not the cameraman, not the people that we were supposed to do it. She came and said, "Nah, I got y'all. We got y'all." You fucking discredit me like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right. Well, he I held it down. <laughs> but she she definitely uh took over. I was like, wow, that's definitely um. Uh, see, you got skills, skills in everywhere. You know what I mean? And we watched you kill homeboy badly. You know what I mean? And um, <laughs> well, Uncle had a question about that. That um, that um. Man, like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm so, I want to know. I want to know if it's the truth. You had it, so. <laughs> All right. I actually got a couple questions about it. All right. All right. All right. First off, though, my man, you killed him. I mean, I tried. But, Shout out. But there was this one line where I noticed you picked up on, and I thought it was kind of funny, and I want to know how you felt about it. Mm-hmm. When he came at you, and he said. If I'm not, are you weird? Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. I was on a different question. <laughs> but I keep my kids on track. How did you feel about that? Because you, you feel like you laughed at all. I thought it was funny, but... I'm she like, rebuttaled it too crazy. I'm exactly. like, hold up. I wear weave. But in order for you to keep my kids on track, it would literally have to be tracks. And I don't do tracks. I've had braids, as in, like, the cackle on fake hair. <laughs> so... My nigga, you wasn't nothing on shit. <laughs> but even if you were, that don't mean you was keep your kids on track. Cause just like I said, just cause you had a kid now don't mean you ain't gay and this motherfucker could fuck up in every single way. So if he really wanted to play, he could get it. Yeah. But, I mean, I ain't feel any type of way it was battle rap. You could say anything you want to say in the ring. Mm-hmm. But if you say it outside the ring home, that's a no, that's no. a whole nother story. <laughs> and I think that's one thing about battle rap that some people Body take rap. things on personal. Mm-hmm. So you gotta have tough skin to even be involved in that or Shit. Like, I would, they, they put me through a test before they even allowed me to have a battle. Oh, damn. That's yeah. what's up. So you were, yo, chill. We need to bring you over here real quick. Test, but they knew what was going to happen when I did what I did. And they just let it happen. But I, I like, I embrace it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Not, it's not like a bad thing. As soon as I, I, I was like, when I was in, I always used to watch battle rap. And as soon as YouTube came out and battle rap started getting released, that, that was the end game. I was like, okay, what's this? <laughs> I just love when people get, like, it's just funny. Like, it's you get crazy. disrespectful, yeah. it's funny. Like, to me, it's funny. It's like, all right, this is, they're putting on a show, but some of these niggas is actually doing this, you feel me? And some of these niggas really ain't. Yeah. <laughs> but the, me just That's watching, real. I was like, yo, like, this is me. Like, I could do this one day. Yo, I think that you're nice. I definitely, it was like, it was crazy. You, definitely. my fault, I mean, cut you off. I think you're nice. I definitely think you got skills. Because I watch, I'm a, I'm, <laughs> yo, I'm watching Battle Raps on 15. I grew up in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? I watched Smack come in my projects other projects mook all that you know what i'm saying so when i heard for that to be your first battle i don't know if yeah. y'all seen her boss no, and that. i was there oh, marv marciano marv marciano watch body bag and i'm just marv marciano because she that ain't her first battle i don't believe that you know I mean? and yeah he definitely was there he was, he was there i didn't yeah, know my, he was, my my I take on it <laughs> i he went there I, I went there i was showing love mm-hmm. I, I approached actually i think it was with grind time tech yeah i approached him shout out tech you know what i'm saying and um, I didn't even know you was performing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I just went there not knowing that she went first. No, like, actually, when it, actually, actually, I went second. It was uh, uh, Prav Molly and um, what's his name? What's his name? He battled somebody. It was like a first, the one they judged in the beginning. I don't know if you came for that one. No, I, don't, I, I think I might have missed that one. You might have missed that one. So you're, yeah, the, the, you're the first. Battle. Yeah. And when you, 
You started off with your, with your line, don't start a singing. <laughs> yeah, this nigga been doing that. That's what I said. That, yo, I've been, that just trying to I think he said that, that when he came in today. He's like, yo, yo that, they hit my car. Started, I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I told you, you know what's crazy? Because before the battle, I was like, to the people I really fucked with, I was like, this is how I'm starting my battle. And they laughed. I was like, y'all think this is a joke? I said that. <laughs> I, I, I said the same thing. I think that worked in your favor. To be honest, because I think everyone took you late before that, but when they, when, when you know when what you, I did when I got there, actually I was there before anybody got there. It was probably me and like the club owner and a couple of the people that was standing at the door. So I just sat. Early. I, yeah. Functional. Yeah, you Holy. was here at Holy. like 8.30. I was here at, on, I was at 8.25. Here on time. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I'm getting there. I'm like, yo, it's time to go. I'm like, yo, I'm going on the bus. Very, very prompt on time, all right? So I just, I'm just sitting at the bar, just cooling, and people's coming in, talking, it's like whatever, whatever. Only the people that know I'm battling, mm-hmm. which is like the people that was really paying attention in the battle league, was really like, oh yeah, that's that girl, you ready to battle, you ready to battle? I was like, yeah, yeah, I was being humble about it, and just, because that's how I am, I'm a humble person. It's like, I don't feel the need to be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I do this, I get this, this, no, this, there's no point in it. Right. So I just, I was just sitting there, mad quiet, I was just waiting, and then everybody started filling in, they started being like, yo, you're ready? You know, it's crazy because they said, you're going first. I said, no, I'm not. I said, no, I'm not. I said, I'm not going first. He said, he said, no, none of the other battles are here. And I said, that's not my problem. I'm not going first. And Damn. I left it at that. I was like, bro, I can't do it. You just can't do that to me. So that was, that was. And then when I got in the ring, the majority of people that were standing on my side were people I was comfortable with. So it made me feel even more comfortable. Yeah. You feel me? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's my that. people. That's my person. I went to their show. Got my yep. niggas. Shout out to M3. Shout out to Rudy Rudacious. Third guy. Good, cool cash, every everybody. I'm cool with them. Shout out cash. So cash, that's cash. Got a little Rooney lit, but um, I was cool with every. And, and the vibes was just so. I don't know what the fuck she's gonna do, and I can't wait for it. And me having me having the 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 crowd control to have that like that power over them to be like, yo, what the fuck is she gonna do? Mm-hmm. That ha- it just had me like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> I got this on the back. I know control. what I'm capable of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't like. I don't boast about it. You feel me? You shouldn't. Yeah. It's and you, cool. you said that in the battle too, because you said this was a battle with somebody who they didn't know what I was gonna do, mm-hmm. and they knew that you was probably gonna lose yeah, anyway. Like, it was you, trash, yeah, man. like so it was like it's a lose lose for you, bro. It was like, either I was gonna be trash, you gonna be trash, and we both gonna be trash together. Uh, I was gonna be something, and he was gonna be okay. Um, <laughs> so do you actually know him personally? I do know him personally. Actually, yeah, him Marvin, that hurt cool. my heart. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt my. Yeah, yo, you gotta Marvin watch that so battle. Cool. You know what's crazy? Because I seen Marv one day downtown after we declared that we was battling. Mm-hmm. We didn't like first I had to beg him for the battle. He was like, nah, I don't wanna do the battle. And I'm like, why not? Like like always give me newcomers. He, nah, nah, he was like, they're always giving me newcomers and I don't like it. And I'm like, I understand that, cool. But why don't you wanna do the battle? Mm-hmm. And he kept saying that. I'm like, alright, cool, just do this battle with me, one round. And it was okay. And they would set it up, one round, five minutes, and that's what it was. You might have ended his career. <laughs> one round <laughs> one round, five minutes. But he was saying this before me and him battle he was like this might be my last battle if i do battle this might be my last battle was, and he's and he said it was because of his own personal reasons and i respected that i just said i just hope you're ready for the battle that we have coming up because you know i'm not because i'm not back. holding back and i don't want you to hold back and this is what's gonna be like i just quit my i know where mom lives i know i met his family everything me and mom are cool that's what's but up, that whole prime frame time from when we announced he was battling to the show there was no yeah, like yeah, that's how like, you gotta be there was, there was none of that Especially you see me downtown he went like this and I was like oh so now you wanna act like a stranger <laughs> yeah. you, wanna be you wanna act like a stranger but and you gotta like, be like that like a lot of battle he, rappers he are strategic to. he's like I just hope you practice and just like he said in the beginning of the battle if it's one thing I hope is you practice Practice. You definitely did. Practice, yo. Me and my boy <laughs> laugh about this every single day because it's the most corniest, stupidest buy I ever heard in my life. He was like, Manami sounds like an STD. I was like, yo. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, yo. where? Like, it was mad that he really, really said that. And I'm like, I'm like mad in a comical way, but I'm like, yo, this thing is a cold ball. Like, I'm about to just. I feel like he just I'm trying to sleep think, on you. He yeah. Was sleep, and that's I think, he I think that's what it was. Yeah, he fucked up. I think it was he like. He tried to sleep, but she had it in the body. He kept bag. telling me, like, yeah, practice, she practice, practice. She had it in the body. He'd always give me the bag. She was ready to practice. Bro. And I'd be like, I hope you're practicing. He always be like, you practice? I said, no. And I'm going to tell you, this is straight up, and this is where I, I think I messed up as my first battle. I finished writing that battle two days before the battle happened. So that means, actually, one day technically, because the next day, that's that was me just playing it back. Mm-hmm. So that's that true. was ill preparation. Yeah, that's absolutely. It. That's it. But it, the the product of what I came up, I'm happy for my first battle. 
All you gotta do is learn. <laughs> Shit, this is our first got podcast, so <laughs> <laughs> we had to say, you know what I mean? We gotta be relaxed and be comfortable, so I definitely who I had a question though. Who's your favorite battle rapper? I'm a battle rap head. I don't know about these two, but I'm already like I battle what rap head. Or like in general. I mean what you grew up on. Oh, there you go, yeah. Who's your favorite battle rapper as far as you are URL? You are if you're a battle head like that, you gotta watch URL. Uh, I think it'd probably have to be Arsenal. Damn. Really? I, I I love I, his That's drive. A, he's mad disrespectful. So I love it. I love it. That's why dude. I love. I love. He it. would say shit I like it. I've watched that nigga say shit about people's daughter and putting his nigga <laughs> in my face. Like, That's the whole point. The dude be on the on the stage like I should punch him in his face right now. <laughs> but I got an eight thousand dollar check and I don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, Tarox yeah, pretty. Yeah, he oh, watched. He just got into um. He just hit me up like yo, I need to watch um. The Tay Rock and um, Sue Surf yeah, joint, yeah, the yeah, NWS yeah, joint. Yeah, I had to watch the gun titles. Yeah, he was going yeah, off. That, yeah, <laughs> that, shit was, that shit was tight. But he definitely, he does hip-hop too. And um, what I was going to say is I wanted to know what is some of your favorite hip-hop because I wanted to hear you guys get into get into that. Because he's got a whole different arsenal of rap. But I, I listen to everything, like. though. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 listen, I listen to everything. I don't discriminate. I probably say, and this is honest, and if I ever, when I, no, when I blow up, and if people feel some type That's of way about me not liking this this type, I don't I don't particularly mean people have their own like specific like mm-hmm. likes and, and wants. You feel me? Absolutely. Genres of music. Some people like hip hop. Some people like rock. Some people like country. I listen to every fucking thing. Yeah, listen, me too. I go <laughs> from <laughs> you can't. Oh my god! Right. I stop at rock. I. I got a little rock and roll. You know what I mean? That's I cool. can't listen to like screamo, yeah. and, like heavy metal. Nah, I can't yeah. do that. Country or if, like. Like choirs, like shit, like that. Ballads, even just piano pieces and instrumental pieces. That like everything. I listen to everything. It's like once you like, if you, I think if you seclude as an artist, I think if you seclude your mind to one genre of music, you don't have enough to work with when you want to stem out and do more. Absolutely. I feel as if that's what it is. So if you can't open your mind to different genres, mm. then what do you like? What do you open your mind to? I just can't do it. After I can do a little rock, <laughs> yo, for real, and it's like. I'm like, oh, I've, I got a friend that sings country music. I will listen to her music and be like, you're the only one. That's it. You know what I mean? And I know it sounds biased, but it is. Whatever. I don't care. But she's the only one. Like, everything else, I can't. It gives me a headache. Put me in a car with that stuff, I'll, I'll get upset. I'll be mad. I'll probably walk. Depending <laughs> 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 on how far we going. Yo, no lie. I got to argue with my godfather about that shade play. No rap in the car. I think we was on our way up here, yo, from, from New York to Rhode Island. And we got into an argument around, like, exit 47 in Connecticut. Like, yo, you got to change the music. I can't do this. I'm losing my motherfucking mind. You can't do this to me, yo. I, I hate it. I do. I love I got to listen to pop. <laughs> I do. I mean, everybody like this. Like, Absolutely. Like what they that? like. Right. You only asked me one question. True. Look, see, thank you. Shout him out. Tell you niggas, come him on, out, baby. Yeah. We chill firing the body bag. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so. All right, but yeah, but who who do you listen to, like locally? That's what I want. Oh know, yeah. Because locally. I feel like. I feel like not a lot of people, from Rhode Island. Listen to people support from Rhode people Island. from Rhode Island. Now, Hold on. Oh, go ahead. Sis. How many, you've heard me with all my aux cord. How many industry songs do I have in my phone? That's real. How many local songs do I have in my phone? Oh. From Rhode Island? From yeah. Rhode Island. From Rhode Island, oh. probably everybody from your eye to your great. That's what's yeah. right. That's respect. That's respect. I have, respect. I have, I have artists that are, are, artist are up and coming. Yeah. Just the I listening. have artists that are up and coming that hit me up for guidance and be like, yo, I need you. Like, I have artists right now that have absolutely no buzz mm-hmm. in, like, their tracks are better than some of the people that are getting praise right Thanks. now. And Shout I'm like, yo, bus. nah, I'm That's taking true. you under my wing because I host shows. So mm-hmm. I throw on shows. I let artists... I create a platform for artists to do what they need to do. You feel me? I do. Shout I call. I can't. <laughs> Shout out to that. You know. Shout out to that. Um, I call clothing line owners and be like, "Yo, you want to come sell your stuff at my shows? If you guys want to do it, I'm helping That's you break bread. How much do I have to give you? Absolutely nothing. I don't want anything from what you made. Why would I want to take from what you made? 
That's See, rare. Now that's now that's that's rare. That's very very yeah. rare. Some people be like, yo, I want twenty percent or or no, yeah. my nigga, for what? What did you do? Did you sit there and scheme exactly. Did you sit there and put that money in their pocket for them to do it? Exactly. No. That's yeah. So why are you taking money? I hate play to play. I did it one time in my life. I swear to God, I will never do it again. Like, like I wouldn't have I my fan base if she didn't give me a show. Cause I've I've been known before with songs and shows and I did things with lingo and people like that that are really doing it and I didn't get the respect. Until I did a show with her. So, now, why do you think there's not more people out there like you that are willing to, like, you know, just show That's love? And, in general, like, I don't understand it. Like, everybody comes from a small state. We all from Rhode Island. I mean, from New York. But I still remember nobody wants trying. to show love. Like, they, I feel like they get to a certain a certain height and then they just, they don't care about nothing I think, I think it's... Oh, if it yeah, don't benefit that one's a good them personally, they don't want nothing to do that. Why? I think it's a lot of people being, like, having big heads. Once people start getting that attention, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm the man. Yeah. No, you're of. not. <laughs> Are you still sitting at Providence? Do you still go to Providence Place Mall? Yes. Yeah. Do you still drive that 2002 Maxima? Yes. My <laughs> nigga, chill. Be humble. My thing is be humble because as soon as you get the shit that you get, that's as fast as you can get it taken away. Absolutely. You can have a $500 million car. You can have a $5 million mansion. That shit can get taken away from you. Also, Materialistic objects aren't shit to me, so I don't like all that. Oh, but I'm about my money, but I'm not about <coughs> taking money from people that create their own shit. I don't like it's capitalizing. I'm not gonna capitalize when I'm already getting capitalized. Like fuck America, nigga. Yeah. This is a bunch of this is a bunch of bullshit. That's like it's a bunch fact. of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. You cap- how do you capitalize off of something that you didn't create? That's Why right. did I have to pay one seventy nine for this water and water is natural? She been woke. She been woke. For real, yo. Like, I, like, I was like, I'm gonna cut off, but like, she's being real, so I can't like, cut I off. I don't get it. I don't get it. So it's like I don't get it. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I like, think that's one thing, but I also feel I don't, people I don't, I don't in Rhode Island not to cut you off, but I feel that this state is so small that it's not hard to be the man in this place. You understand it's what I'm not. saying? Like you can go and do a couple of tracks, and people are gonna know you. You know what right. I mean? And once you start putting a little money in your pocket, you do a couple of shows out here, and you get a little apartment out here, wherever it may be, that's outside of the projects, and get a nice car. I'm the nigga. What are you going to say? You do your little thing in the street, you're fine. You know what I'm saying? People know your name. You can run around here. A lot of people don't step outside of the state. A yeah, lot of people. That's the problem. Yeah. Though. That's the problem. The problem is once you get noticed or that little bit of buzz and people down the street are like, oh, yo, your they song's get fire. Yeah, exactly. I'm bumping you in my car. They're like, damn, I'm amazing out here. But at the same time you're saying amazing out here, these same people are not out here giving you cards and your songs and your mixtapes to the guys two states over. Mm-hmm. All right? Like, when people sit here and they go, oh, yeah, you was nice last week. Then why was you standing in the back when I was performing? Why didn't you come to the front of the stage when I was doing it? Why'd you wait to the end of the show to walk up to me and be like, you're amazing? You wasn't thinking that two seconds ago because you <coughs> were hating when I was on stage. <coughs> You was hating, and that's the problem <coughs> with Rhode Island in general. They're crabs in a barrel. They're stacking on top of each other to get to the top, and you can't get there. You got to create a chain. Yeah, Once you create a chain, you can all make it out the basket. You know what I mean? You can all make it out the barrel. You can all make it out because once one person does it, once we get noticed just that one little bit of spark, we're all noticed. Uh, excuse me. We're all noticed. You know what I mean? And it's hard. It's hard because people go, oh, yeah, I'm the best. I run Rhode Island. Exactly. I run Rhode Island. You don't run nothing because you ain't putting money in my bank account, so you didn't do nothing to help me out. You didn't give me a job. You know what I'm saying? So that's the problem with Rhode Island, period. They don't come out here and be like, yo, shout out to Miss Marrows for doing her thing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Shout out to Outmind for doing their thing. Shout out to Alki God for giving parties and giving opportunities to people who do things. They don't do that. And I think that's the main problem because they go, I'm the man. I'm your boss. But you didn't give me my job. You just gave me a show where I brush you people. Because mm-hmm. you didn't bring them. Your name didn't bring them. Mine did. And then that same clout that you're getting on YouTube, like shout out to Cole Cash. Cole Cash does a great thing on YouTube, right? But Rhode Island don't support him. Yeah, they don't. Mind you, he made the biggest track in Rhode Island. We don't support him. He'll go to a show I and three people him. will stand there and go, yeah, that's what's up. That's my nigga. What happened to the 40,000 views he had? What happened to the 10,000 kids that was mm-hmm. shouting out? Cold cash, cold cash. Y'all ain't there at his show. Y'all didn't that's do none of that to fun. help him because he asked for you to pay ten dollars. 
You put Teddy in your gas tank. What you talking about? Yo, I told you. What are you talking about? That's a fact. What is happening? Yo. That's real. Like, what's reality? You sit me ask you for $2 to be on my show. You say, yeah, I can't. You just pay $2 for a bogey. You pay $2 for a Dutch. You pay $20 to get that eighty. What you talking about? You're lying. You're lying. You're hating. You don't want him to make it. You want to make it from the sideline and go, yeah, when he makes it, I'm going to jump on his bandwagon. Yeah. Fuck that's all what, that. That's what a bunch of That's, yeah. that's yeah. exactly yeah. what Rhode Island does. I'm kidding. That's a fact. Fact. Yeah. And he was that's saying really stuff, stuff like that. He was, he was saying stuff like that in his interview, my fault. Yeah, no, his yeah. interview yeah. that he had, that's on YouTube, Rose Gold. Yeah. Like, he was saying things like, we don't have people that put other people on. We don't have anything. I was saying, like, look at Atlanta. Look at Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? It helps. You know what I'm saying? All of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all unified. Yeah, obviously they got the little beast, but at the end of the day, they see the common goal. That's the green, you know what I'm saying? That's the money, baby. Right, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But niggas in Rhode Island, they're too... I think, and I've said this, and I've voiced my opinion about this, Rhode Island is fucking cursed. That's point blank, period. I don't, no, I, I feel... I, I think that Providence that's is true. fucking cursed. I agree with you. I think it's My nigga, point. India Point Park, this is what dropped off the slate. Nigga, shit happened here. Like, mm -hmm. when you think about shit, shit's not... To me, it's all about, like, you have to think about the shit that happens. It's all a fucking cycle. Every that's two true. years, there's a that's new person real. in Rhode Island that's buzzing, and their buzz dies off. Mm -hmm. Or they leave. Nigga, it's a fucking cycle. Everything, like, it's like, there has to be people in the world that want to break that cycle. There has to be people in the world that want to be the ones to be like, yo, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to defy the art. This is how fucking humble I am. I've been doing, I've been writing poetry. I started off with poetry. That's first. I started off with poetry. I started, that was in elementary school. Mm. I had a teacher tell me, you copied that out of a book. There's no <laughs> way you wrote that yourself. They started hitting it early. At early. work, because I'm like, yo, teachers in New York are encouraging you. Like, early. yeah, that's what's up. Early, had a teacher dead tell me in my face that what I created, I didn't create. I'm like, oh, cool. who the fuck are you? Mind you, when I was little, I was menaced. So I didn't really give a shit. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> you told me? I did write this. Like, I'm like, I'm all about my business. But once you bring me to Ra Ra and you try to say, I'm not, I like, mm -mm, I'm going to let you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't care who you are. You want respect? Give me respect. That's a fact. That's just how I hear it. Point blank, period. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand you are, that. Nigga. It, it, it's just, that's just the way it works. That's the way it works for me. But I started off with poetry. Then I started, I was like, I always used to sing in the hallways. And teachers would be like, oh, yeah, da -da, I didn't know it was you. I thought a radio got turned on. It was like crazy shit. And I, like, I used to just like, I used to just like blow it off. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm good at that. All right, whatever. And just keep doing what I had to do. Then I moved to rapping. Now, when I moved to rapping, that's when things started picking up. Because I can freestyle. That's not a problem. Freestyle's not a problem. So when any so somebody, yeah, <laughs> so when anybody, so when anybody like put on a beat and it was like, all right, freestyle. This is what I did. I used to suck. Everybody used to suck. Yeah, you gotta start off somewhere. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start off somewhere, right? Yeah, I used to suck to at freestyling. So. When I like, it was, it was just to the point where I was like, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna keep doing it. I used to go, I used to load a beat on YouTube. That that'll get a beat, and all the upcoming beats I used to freestyle and use those words and feed off of them. I would say every single one of the words that are in the titles, the producer, everything, and move it into words, and that's how I got better at freestyling. That's right. Right. So then I started, I started freestyling, and people started fucking with me a little bit more. Niggas knew I sang because I would like put little videos on my Facebook. Take notes, y'all. Word <laughs> facts, please take notes. This girl not is a smart. Problem. Take I notes. To, I used to. Put little videos on Facebook. People knew I sang. It was that was just like the hobby. People used to always tell me, be like, yo, 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 sing. I used to go to, yo, oh yeah, she could sing, yo, sing this song. And I'm like, like that. everybody, everybody, nice. everybody, yeah, everybody's <laughs> always like, yeah, yo, she could sing. Let's listen to her. <coughs> and um, I was always so humble about it. People were like, yo, I didn't even know you could sing. You didn't even like. I'm like, yeah, because I don't. It's, it's cool. But whatever. And I started getting connected into. I started doing community shows. I started off like at like the Elma Community Center doing like little shows like that, like cultural events and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I realized that nobody else was giving me shows. And I was heated. I was mad. I'm like, I deserve to be on every single one of these shows out here. Like, I know I'm good like that and I need to be there. So I started hosting my own shows. But you know what I do? I get into the circle and I get my connections. But if I don't fuck with you, I won't fuck with your connections. I can I I know so many people that I can use to my advantage and I could be at a I could be like eating right now like <laughs> driving to my yo eating but I choose to be humble and be like nah I'm gonna keep it real to who I am mm -hmm. I, if I don't fuck with you I don't fuck with you now maybe I'll fuck with you to, for business 
but that's a different story. But I move into situations, and if I see you're somebody that I need to network with, I will network with you. That's point blank period. I got this, I can I can do this for you, you and you can do this for me. Now let's help each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I I'm, I agree and with you saying. Doing my own shows. Like and I, that's one thing I talked to um Trey about. You know what I'm saying? Like where I'm at, I'm out here in Rhode Island. I was in New York. I was doing a lot of things. I've worked in the street. I'm you know what I'm saying. I know a lot of people. I've moved. All through Manhattan, from Harlem to downtown Manhattan to Hell's Kitchen. So I don't hit the I'm Manhattan boy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people, met a lot of people, all types of I come out here and I'm like, damn, my kid is out here. How can I start something if nobody moves forward out here? All right, boom, I'm gonna start it myself. We're gonna I'm gonna get my niggas together, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this podcast going, we're gonna meet people, and we're gonna start going to other places, we're gonna start shooting, we're gonna start bringing everybody out. Cause there are you good artists that. out here, even with you. you know what I mean, I went and watched a battle, not to play nobody out here, but I only in the takeover battle league, I only listen to Tro, Zo, and then you. You was the next person. They only I was gonna push them out because they from over here I don't not uh -huh. to say that they I'm cool with them you know what I'm saying yeah. but I was like I didn't take it serious and now listen to Troy kill mad niggas <laughs> Zo kill yeah. mad niggas I'm like yo these niggas need to be mm -hmm. on a bigger stage then you come on you say yo I'm going to trap house and I'm sitting here and I'm like why are you going to trap house not to hate and I don't see these niggas getting that same call and they just as good as you and you guys should be at the same platform and there's a way for other people to get out of Rhode Island and I'm trying to set that up with people that I know is cool enough to be able to go out there and say, look, you can do shows over here. You can do this over here. You can do that. My man, Gelly. Gelly's nice. You know what I'm saying? Gelly could do That's his right. thing. He is, I, I haven't heard all the artists. I just started listening to artists out here. But y'all, all, all the nice artists out here from Zoe to Troll to you to Gelly, I'm telling y'all now to eat. Y'all got something where y'all, the, the different ones that don't sound like everybody from Rhode Island, hand them another one. Y'all got things that y'all could take that somewhere else than out than over here. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can make a different move. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do that with y'all. We trying to do that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep in touch with you too. You ain't going to. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. We keeping her around, y'all. We keep it all around. And definitely. You know like, what like, mean? Nah, I, I really only fuck with, like, I don't fuck with swagger jackers. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. Her, absolutely 100% all original. Mm -hmm. My bro, absolutely 100% all original. Shout out to Drastic. Shout out to Drastic. That's my bro. Get her. <laughs> I would so not do it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just only, I really only rock with the, the most genuine of genuine people. That's right. Everybody has a past. Everybody done fucked up some way, right. somehow. True. But as long as in the presence you have never fucked up with me, that's not my, we cool. You feel me? And it's just like, I had, I think when it came to the Battle League and me actually being able to go to Trap House, my first battle in, mm -hmm. I think it also plays a good role that I'm a female. That's real. That's true. It, it, and I, it, not, I, I don't think if I was a male, I would have got that same, oh yeah, what's up? I think it's because I'm a female and niggas didn't expect what came. <laughs> no, I think you're nice. I think yeah. you're nice regardless. Niggas didn't expect <laughs> it. I think you got bars regardless. I don't have a mixtape. I don't have any. I have like singles drop, but those are like little like I'm not caring for. I promote mm. once in a blue moon. Like this, that's not even a shit you guys need to be worried about. <clears throat> that's that's little test. That's little promotion. <laughs> <laughs> little test I, I go I go to do shows and I only when I perform I only do snippets of my songs. Mm. So a uh, people are like, yo, when's your mixtape coming out? Or yo, when the single dropping? Or yo, when you doing the music video for this? Leave them with teasers. Why not? Business. People got to think. My right. mind is all business. When it comes down to everything, it's business. It's like, all right, so how is this going to, all right, because I need to do this, and it's all because I had to do shit by myself. I raised me and my little sister by myself. That's where the business came from. That's where all the root of hustle, hustle, hustle. You making money coming to you. I braid hair. I do photography. I bought, yo, I bought my Into first camera. Chicken. By myself. I used to always tell everybody, like, yo, all I want is a camera. All I want is a camera. I used to always look at, pe like, places and be like, yo, that's just beautiful. I wish I could just take a picture of it and take it with me. I, all I wanted was a camera. Nobody got me one. So I was like, all right, cool. Y'all motherfuckers want to hate me. <laughs> as soon as I got up the money to buy my camera, I bought the camera. It wasn't the most best, the best cameras. It was something it was that I can use for the moment and I could call my own. And I got by myself. Everything that I got, I got by myself. Now, you have to learn that, like... You can't always depend on somebody. Yep, she gives me rides. There's going to be times where she can't come when I need her to. You can't always depend on... I got two motherfucking legs and they ain't going to take me wherever the fuck I need to go. You feel me? It's like... 
I don't even know. I freaking completely lost what we were talking about. But <laughs> yeah, nah, you, I, you, you got sense. lost in the hustle. I got lost. Mm-hmm. I got lost in the hustle. That's what it was. Yeah. I got lost in the hustle. Nah, that's, that's real. <laughs> I definitely. I one thing about you, I can just from sitting here and talking with you, and from the first time me and you spoke on the phone, like you're a real genuine person. You're yeah. honest, <clears> and you about definitely. your shit. You know what I'm saying? So definitely. I could definitely respect that. I got a question. What you think about little Uzi shirt? Okay. Yeah, that's how we'll fight, B. Hold on. I'll be sipping. I'm not even gonna put them in a body bag. Wonder oh. why? Ooh. Right. See, this is how I, I, I would approach it. See, yeah, this is different why ages here too. Why can't so you know what I mean. Care. Everybody been talking about I'm that. I'm not even gonna put them in a body bag because you wanna why know why? Care, right? It's not my shirt. Every, I like the fact that he's different. Absolutely. I love it. You want to know why I love the fact that he's different? Mm-hmm. Because he's not being fucking normal and he's not conforming to what everybody else thinks is normal. That's respectable. He's fucking unique. He look like now, it doesn't matter what he looks he look like. Crazy. He, he, he look crazy. He look crazy. Albert Einstein was fucking crazy. I got on flip flops yeah. right now, but I'm just saying, like, he looked he looked. Niggas wild, said Frederick yo. Douglass was fucking crazy. True. Niggas said, niggas said a lot of motherfuckers it. was crazy. Now, Einstein <laughs> looked crazy. I don't care. Like, just I the like, hair. I just saw Uzi. I just saw Uzi in the motherfucking Migos. I just saw Uzi in the Migos video not too long ago looking like a normal nigga with what color hair? Blue, purple, yellow? I mean, but it's all tactics. Y'all think... Yeah, but that's yeah. all. That's yeah. all a gimmick. Yeah. 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 That's all a gimmick. It's, it's the all, reason Beyonce's like lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah, Beyonce's yeah. lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Like, her and JC still together. The that was, but that was music. That was just yeah, music. Yeah, but that's the same. No, but that's the same Marley. thing. Like, I mean, right. yeah, a lot of people fell for it. Like, dummy. No, but, no, no, she, no, she got crazy, her music to relate to a lot of people. Listen to this. You know what I mean? Like, it's not what they're doing. It's what people wanted to hear. You know what I mean? It's what people are going through. You know what I'm saying? People want to be able to relate to something. You know what I'm saying? But they still have. People thinking Hove was about to leave. No. Yeah. I thought and it was, it was yeah, good. Yeah, I'm like, yo, she didn't like, yo, it's all about business. It got people yeah. talking about it, didn't it? That was what I'm saying. That that, that yeah. was all about money. That's all it people was. People said was there was a video. Um, who was it? Young Thug's uh video had a, a transgender girl or a nigga girl or whatever it was. It, I mean, I would. Uh, mad I would niggas that from went him. to go click on the video. Why did niggas go click on the video? Because motherfuckers was talking about it. And there wasn't one, was there? That, no, 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 it, it, it was. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if it was young thug or twin, I don't know who it was. That's but crazy. One of them, yeah. I didn't even think, oh, But man. it got niggas to look at this shit. <laughs> if you're just a normal person, nobody's really going to give a fuck about who you are. That's true. That's true. You have to be some type of different. Yeah, but just think of the word. But there's way to stand out. Look at, yeah, but look at the word yeah. entertainer, right? Mm-hmm. You look at that word. When they first came out with a circus, right? You thought they were crazy. You know what I mean? The black and white, jumping around, monkeys everywhere. You thought they was crazy. But you didn't run from it. You came to it. Because you were like, that's insane. What does it look like? (laughs) Why are they doing that? You know what I'm saying? But that's what you wanted to see. All you got to do is think. Uzi is what? A circus. He's, sure getting you, he's getting you talking right because his hair's blue today. Tomorrow it's green. Next week it's yellow. That's Next week it's true. the whole rainbow. That's and you're thinking, is he gay? He could have kept the dreads. Nah, nah, he's, he's straight. He's straight. He's <laughs> he could have kept the dreads. I'd have been good with him. He could even throw on the, the male yeah, rock. I'd have been good with him. No, but think closely. Think closely. The weekend, oh, okay, right? The the we, no, but think closely. Yeah. The weekend, right? He had a uh-huh. mop on his head. The weekend. Had a mop on his head, right? Yeah. Thing yeah. was all together, strung out, everything. He cut it. Mm-hmm. Right, you what was he, like you, you. No, he cut it. Man, he Damn, I definitely he, ain't paying attention no, no. to freaking. He cut it, right? I'm gone. And the week that he cut it, everybody, all the girls are going crazy. They're like, no, he ain't gonna cut that hair. Why would he cut the mop? Why would he do it? <laughs> right? And everybody's and everybody's clicking that same video. Why? Because he finally cut his hair. But before I can't that, that. I'm nobody about to go look was at talking it right about now. the weekend, right? right? Nobody was talking about the weekend. We didn't know his new album came out. We didn't know anything about him. We didn't even know he was still signed to Drake. We was just like, the weekend's dead. Like, you know, what I mean? like no one knew about. <laughs> <laughs> then he cut his hair and everybody's like, oh, that's what's up. Now he looks normal. But cutting your hair, is that really normal? No. Is that really, is that really normal? <laughs> I cut, like, nobody paid attention to me when I cut my hair. Like, I need to get it cut now. But, but think about it. Is that really normal? <laughs> so, so I gotta have with little, exactly. Little Uzi is doing. But what little Uzi's doing, is that is that too crazy for you? Like, is that crazy? Is that... that- is that like... It was the haircut. He could have got away with the shirt. It was the <laughs> cut. He looked crazy. That's my baby See, mother. that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, he looked crazy. I think it was more the pose that got me. It was just... <laughs> See? He, got... <laughs> he had the purse. He looked like he had an attitude. Oh, he had a purse. I didn't even it was see the purse. Statue. I saw the hair. I didn't see he the purse. He had a long day in here and purse? shit. Like, it's just... It was the pose that did it for me. Nah, right? he had it. My man had. Nah, he had the. He had the Indiana Jones. You know what I'm saying? It was a satchel. 
It wasn't no damn statue. It wasn't. In here. <laughs> it was in here. But it was different. I it like, was definitely. You know what I mean? It was. It was different, and they got people to pay attention. That's and that's the that's whole true. point when it that's comes right. to business, and especially him being a big entertainer, like having a following. But it's family. all publicity. Yeah, exactly. Good it's all publicity. publicity. So, I don't. If it's super negative, like I don't think people are gonna look so at him in a freaking like. That's what I'm saying. They all that's made fun of him. He, he became young. the meme king for. He's gonna go away in like a week. You know what I mean? But he was the meme king for a minute. Ain't gonna have them go buy his album. They're just gonna keep looking at that picture. You know they what? might get the shirt. Mm-hmm. That's about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. You know what I mean? Now, Macy's right with the shirt. There was somebody that wore the outfit before him. No, I don't know if y'all caught that. MGK. MGK. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I always said, like, people came and, nobody, and be like, oh, yeah, da, da, da. Like, I would expect that from him. I think I would expect that from him. But I said, the shirt was not what really bothered me. It was the hair that probably bothered me more. I think if he had his hair regular, he'd have been good. He'd have been like those days. I don't know. He looked crazy. His hair looked crazy. He looked crazy. He looked crazy. He looked like a female to me. When he had the dreads, he like a regular dude. But with the hat, with the with the shirt, that's true. It scares me. But that's you know what I mean. Like I, me that's me. their business. I'm not mad at nobody. I got all my friends. I got all types of friends. He, said he, he looked me. like a whole. That didn't look like Lil Uzi. That you know it didn't. Did it? Come on. Y'all can all put your eyes on me. I don't care. <laughs> Come on. It ain't look like him, B. Come on, man. All right, y'all go a minute. It ain't look like him. <laughs> okay, well, I, what I mean, but what is he supposed to look like? Lil Uzi. Vert. He is little Uzi Vert. So what? What? It, I mean, whatever he decides to do, that's his choice. That haircut look crazy. You know I'm a, if he tip, if he put something hot right now, I'm gonna listen to it. That's no, no lie. I'm not gonna give him that. But I'm just saying. I don't saying, think he's really ever whole, put out a bad mixtape or a song. I, oh, I, I never listen to his music. I, 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 I only listen, heard him on that I one listen song. to him. You, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I, yo, all right. Keep it behind I'm I'm 31, right? <laughs> My music is old school, New York, Jada. Mm-hmm. I'm into that. So when I hear these new dudes like this, I can't. No, I can't. Let me kill the elephant. The thing with Uzi dressed, looking the way he looked, was they don't. Nobody wants to say he looked like a fruitcake. Facts. He looked like a fruitcake. All day. He looked no like a grown ass female that came out as a hard rapper. You can. You, the message Thank you. pulling out is confusing everybody that's supposed to be a fan of you. But it's not anybody's motherfucking business. I'm just I, saying. I understand that. that. If he, but if, but if, if you he put wants it out. to be, if he wants to be gay or or flagrant or fruity and whatever, if he wants to be Yo, gay, let him yeah. be gay. If, if, if why does like, yeah, why does he why does someone say why? Hold on, hold on. You know what, Look, I'm easy. sitting here dressed like this, right? Now I call you two weeks from now, and I'm sitting here in a dress and a wig <laughs> and some whole other shit. You gonna My be nigga. like. You gonna walk in here like it's gonna be like some shit like yo you switched no, up like first, no listen you, mean, first, like, you still do the show no but listen at first it's I'm gonna still get you, the album it's gonna get you, it's gonna get you startled <laughs> be at first week, my nigga. no but it's gonna get you startled at first it's gonna make you think exactly. what's happening whatever yeah that's normal that's the norm of what humans do we all go damn c- because we're not used to change. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, that's fair. But yeah. 2007 <laughs> no but it's, it's true but 2017 what the young kids are doing, and I love it. What the young kids are doing, I'm 25, I'll be 26 in a week. Like, what the young kids are doing, I love it because they're pushing nothing but change every day. They're giving you something to talk about that's positive. Because what is he really doing that's negative that's cutting his hair? I'm he's not, not, doing, negative, he's but not doing anything that's going to bother kids. Kids are not going to sit there and go, oh, I'm going to cut my hair like that next week. Because in two days from now, because two days from now, there's going to be another kid that does his hair long to, yeah. his, to his ass. And they're going to go, I want dreads like that. I can't believe his dreads They're saying like trends, that. trends like, each week. Yeah, but the, but, the fine line that they're pushing is the line of like, I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know if it's respect or like, like, come on, they're doing extra. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not dissing the young generation because I love to, for you to be young, wild, and free. But be smart. Don't be stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're dealing, but, with, but, to be honest, we're dealing with jokers. The thing, we're, dealing, we're dealing with jokers and we're going to have to deal with jokers for a right. while. Okay. And you got you to gotta admit that there's a generation of real motherfuckers, there's a generation of iffy motherfuckers, and then there's a generation of jokers. And this is the time, I'm sorry, it really is, we're all trying to strive to the top and keep it real, but this is the time for jokers, and this is time for people to do something that they love. And this is time for them to be like, yes, I'm gonna make commercial after commercial after commercial mistakes. Not saying perfect views, but commercial after commercial mistakes. Mm -hmm. But in order for them to make these mistakes, the next generation would do better. That's real. They do better. They do something that's more retro, sort of but speak. But they still we pushing that fine line. But though. they like got they, it. They got what a, they do. Who's going to be out there to a, do it? A, a fine line to... I'm saying there's a fine line of asking for respect and there's a fine line yeah, of just they, being foolish. Yeah, but he's not asking for respect. Where it's just like... But that's the problem. He's not asking for respect. But you got to ask for respect but somewhere. You know respect how comes into play. Yeah, I could be here, but I'm here. He chose to be here. 
He chose my nigga. He chose, he chose, he chose to be here. He because if you here. chose to do what he wanted, like, but like my nigga, you have a choice. In life, you have a true, choice. Absolutely. You have a choice to do A, B, and motherfucking C. And let me and, this and let me tell you to do what he wanted. Let me to tell do. you if he wants to. I'm not a wet dude. Do this or commercial. Ah, there's a fine line. You look, you understand. There's a fine line, baby. But I think it's more of an old school thing too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like another thing. Everybody has their limit. Yo, I don't know because I'm not gonna go out there and do some like I might want to do. Something I crazy, but I'm not gonna do nothing foolish. You, you know what I mean? Hip -hop like, like, if you see me, like, yo, Chris. You love hip hop. So you got people mm -hmm. like, well, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, but listen, there's a fine line. Listen, listen, there's a fine line. Exactly. Right? There's a What's fine going line. on? You're talking about there's a fine line, there's a silver line, right? Mm -hmm. It's white and black, okay? You said hip hop, right? Uzi Vert is not doing hip hop, honey. He's doing rap. Okay, rap is a consistency okay. of everything. So it's a consistency of everything. It's a new genre, you know actually. It's not really rap. No, no, but no, but here's the thing. When you're rapping, you're just playing around, right? Rapping is when we're sitting around, we're doing, you say, cat, hat. Back. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I never no, thought no, about no, it like rapping, that. Rapping, no, this like, is rapping. This but is this too, Rapping this is, is talking. Rapping is having a conversation. If you want to get to the technical definition of what rapping is, this is what rapping is. Right, how, okay. But if uh, what she's saying, I think what she's saying is they have it. That's their genre out of hip hop and rap. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, the, they took rap and turned it fun. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Respect, like you right? can have a you can. You fuck with Tupac? I to love Tupac? I love what Pac stands for. I didn't listen to a lot of his music. Okay. Do you respect him as like a hip hop artist, yes. or do you? All right. Tupac was an actor. actor. Yeah, he wasn't the person Tupac, that he was. Tupac did ballet. Yeah, I mean, he, I so know where, he wasn't. So where was that? Where was that fine line? But if his he, heart, if he, if he his heart was for his people. Was thug life, my nigga. Nah, I watched where was this. That fine line? He said it. He said it. Yo, when I did, what was the first movie? It was either Juice or on um, what you call it. He said, yo, after I act those movies and all of that, I felt like I could always do that. And he kept going. When he first came out, he wasn't a hardcore really rapper. You know what I'm saying? He was with freaking Digital Underground. He's doing the dancing, all that. He said once he did that movie, those two movies, or the, the first movie, I can't remember which one it was, but it's probably both of them. Who knows? That nigga said, yo, if I could do this on, on set, I could do this in real life. Problem is, how long can you do that? You know what I mean? But he he played it off. But what he stood for is mother being a Black Panther, being real, being Absolutely, about yeah. his people. And I could I could say that I'm part of that. Where like I said, I lived all through Manhattan and I moved around different places. Like me and my cousin used to hop on the freaking Greyhound and train at 4:15. AOL was popping. I had to check up like yo, da -da 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 -da. I'm <laughs> gone. Tell my mom jump popping. on with the program. We out of here. We gonna leave for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. everywhere I went. White, not no disrespect to nobody, because I love everybody, but white people living good, and then you seen poverty, you know what I'm saying? Schools over here was good, that's what he was saying. I'm over here, and I go to this school over here, I got ballet, I'm learning Shakespeare, and I'm doing good. And I'm going to my friends in public school, like, yo, I'm doing this over here, and they like, that's foreign to me. Like, I don't understand that. In a public school in New York City, at least I can say, they're not teaching us what they're teaching those other kids, you know what I'm oh, saying? It's not. totally different. No, of course not. But he took all of that pain after moving from city to city to state to state to state, and he put it in his music after learning, oh, shit, I can act, I can do poetry, I can do this, I can do it for my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got y'all, and I already got this in my blood. My mother birthed me out of this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came around, I was around that whole Black Panther movement and everything else that was going on, so I, I've been had this in my heart no matter how... If I'm a punk, if I'm shy, if I'm a tough guy, whatever, mm -hmm. this was here. I just didn't have a way to let it out. It was either going to be poetry or learning how to become a thug. He became a thug. That's how I, I look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, but honestly, Uzi is for the party. He's for the yeah, he's a, you know he's a mean? dancer. He's not, for, he's not for you to go out and be like, yeah, I'm going to shoot my guys next week <laughs> listening to him. Like, you're not really going to do that. You're going to want to pick up your drink. You want to take that mile. You're going to want to turn all the way up. Why? Because that's what his persona is. Right. He's for the kids to do what they call the turn up. We call it just let's go out and get fucked up type shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is for the turn up. This is where you get all the way up. And then, like, what they say, future. He don't do what he talks about, right? No, I can't believe it. He don't do what he talks about. <laughs> okay? I can't believe it. He, he, he don't. He don't do what he talks about. But in the beginning, didn't you think he did that? You was turning up because you thought he was turning up, right? You was taking those mommies because yeah. you thought he was taking yeah. those mommies. Well, you was, was smoking that weed. So. No, but in general, you was taking the drugs that you thought he was taking because yeah, you wanted to be like him, right? You wanted to be like him, then you found out it was all fraud. He came out and, and was then, like, yo, did, I don't do nothing. But when you found that was a fraud, did you stop? Did you stop listening to him because you found that was a fraud? Nope. No, no, right? Mask on. No, no. Mask on. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's, that's same, a real life song. Yeah, like same thing with <laughs> same thing with Louis Vuitton. You're not gonna stop listening to him because he changes his hair. You're not gonna stop listening to him and find out he's gay. No one's gonna care. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just it's just a it's just a new thing to get you talking. That's true. It's a new thing to make you say, hey, I'm but, still here. I'm still relevant because if he didn't do it, you wouldn't be talking about. You wouldn't even hear his music next week because you wouldn't know he came out with like that. Like I said, I'll still buy his album. 
But the picture, I'm not fucking with you. Be like, yo, I did. if that picture was on the front of the album, out. I'm taking and it was CDs popping. I'm taking it out. If it's on my phone, I'm deleting the picture. You know, on your phone, he's you got to, you, like, you can keep the music, it. but you can't keep. Yo, ain't no picture. I know. Did you see his picture? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I can't have that dude, yo. That's good. But that's my nigga, though. I fuck with him. I, <laughs> he, said I mean? the, he said I'm dead But if I'm, I'm not with about that with that, that whole dress up, you know what I'm saying? I can't do it. You know what I mean? That's but, whatever. I think it, it, another woke moment. How many artists nowadays are promoting Molly's drinking lean? All of them. Everybody. Exactly. But look how many Why? people Why? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut In what down? community <laughs> do they generally listen to that type of music? Hmm. Facts. <laughs> I think everybody. Capitalism. Mm-hmm. They're trying to gentrify, gentrify the hood. I went down Washington Park. Parkview Cafe looks like it belongs in fucking Bristol somewhere. And why do I say that? Because I live in the fucking hood. Why is it there? True. They're trying to gentrify. They're trying to get. They're trying to take over the hood. They're trying to wipe us out. So us being the young, naive fucking minds that we are, listen to the music and feed into the shit. Absolutely. Some of the commercials Absolutely. that they play on TV, they don't even play in rich neighborhoods. You need to, they don't care about they don't care they, about what's over here though. You know that already. Of course, they're we trying gotta, to kill us. So this is all yeah. a tactic to fucking rig. I believe in no, my yeah, opinion. I agree with it's you. I feel the same to way. To rig the minorities. Anybody that comes up to positive take the people is gone. that fucking created the land away from the land. See, hold up, wait. No we gonna, I'm bringing you back. You coming back? We gotta wrap it up. But right there, where you said that, I'm bringing you back because she's deep. <laughs> we definitely. But I want to wrap it up real quick. You know what I mean? Definitely. I want to thank our guest, Body Bag with Nami and Nana. Um, unfortunately, I wanted to go further into this. I definitely get, but they coming back. They coming back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we got little. Y'all shout your people out. Because I can't. Shout out to Aki Got Entertainment. Shout out to Outmind. Shout out to, to Miss Marrow's Designs. Um, shout out to BBE, that's the mob. I didn't even say that. Behind bars yeah. entertainment, those are the people I rock with heavy. Yeah. Um, shout out to Jay Wasteland. Jay Wasteland, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We taking over. Shout out to every underground rapper in Rhode Island that wants to make it out there, Amen. make a change. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not only just Rhode Island, but to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, all the underground rappers, everybody that's local, that's doing something. Keep doing it and taking people's out there with you. You know what I'm saying? Because we can all make a yeah, facts. We can all make a change, man. You know what I mean? As y'all can see, first part. Hold up, my fuck, my guys. Uh, and I think you probably know about this. What? Go ahead. Um. Yeah, I want to touch down on something quick. It's a little personal or whatever, but I want to touch down on this drinking and driving subject because there's a lot of problems going on. I don't. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about it. But my nephew passed away in an accident. My little nephew, Jermaine. Drinking and driving. Hold on, where? Where? This is actually... Shit, to be honest, smoking on the weed. I actually... <laughs> but, like, I do. but it didn't mean, happen in Prague. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter what happened. I do. The point is the message. Drinking and driving is dangerous. It hurts people on both sides because, you know, you got the people that's drinking and they're driving. And their families hurt because they made a bad decision. And then you got the victims that take a loss. So I don't condone it. Nobody should. Nobody should. Nobody should. It's not worth it. It's not worth nobody's life. And it's something serious. Absolutely. I and we have Uber now. We have apps. Yeah, <laughs> to get you an Uber. Got a friend, and if they're really a friend, they'll get you a fucking Uber, my nigga. Leave your car wherever the fuck it is. And take an Uber. It only oh. costs fifty dollars to get out the impound. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That's a fact. But thank you everybody. First podcast crew episode. You now I mean Chris. Rose Gold. Thank <laughs> My guests, thank you. We Body out of here. Shout out to everybody. Body bag. Body bag. Body bag. The whole East Coast. <laughs> episode one is done, baby. We out of here. I'm gonna sip this hand. <laughs> <laughs>